you do, uh, you predict the future for other people, right? I counsel people. That does include prediction. And give me an example. What, what do people come to you with and what do you tell them mostly? A lot of my clients are growing up. <laughs> they are emotionally maturing and they're finding their way in this world. And that's what I'm helping them do. I'm helping them sometimes even just with prayer. You know, how powerful how prayer can be. Prayer? That we do prayers together and then we'll do prayers like separately and we'll both get the same, oh my goodness, I saw a symbol or a sign. And so we can compare notes. And do you work with mostly men or women? Usually women, actually. <laughs> yeah. I do love working with men. Why is it mostly women, you think? Of their intuitive, and I think that they're more than likely to seek out someone else who is intuitive. Oh, I see. So if someone went to you and they said, oh, I'm broke and I'm hungry and I'm poor, and what's going to happen to me, what would you tell them? So that person would be talking about the material, physical existence, right? And we can only counsel so far with that because either you're going to get up and do something for yourself or you're not. So I don't really influence that too much, although I do give very good advice because it's coming from a higher source. It's not coming from my life experience. It's coming from their spirit guides or angels and my people upstairs. And when you say your people upstairs, who are your people upstairs? So I have a main operator spirit guide, like a, he's my phone connector. And he is Hermes Trismegistus. Uh, Hermes is a Greek god, as you might know. You know Hermes with the wings? No. Really? He's the messenger of the gods. I never heard of Hermes. Okay. I know a Herman who died, but not a Hermes. Bless his soul. How did you meet Hermes? So we did a guided meditation to meet our spirit guides. And I'd been trying to meet my spirit guide for several years. And it took about seven years to get him on what I call the psychic telephone. And um, I asked him his name and I saw his name and I heard his name at the same time. So there was no mistake that it was Hermes. And also my name, Corinne, is the French version of Cor, which Cor Persephone, also going back to the Greek myth. She was saved from Hades or hell by Hermes. Amazing. Isn't that neat? And what does Hermes look like? To me, he shows up as a beautiful Greek statue, um, like the David statue. And so does he come down or, or does he just allow you to see him? We meet on different levels of consciousness. So it depends on where my consciousness is that day. He does not show up physically to me. These are visions during waking hours. So I dream while I'm awake. And do you have any other people up there? Sure. I've met a lot of the <laughs> gods and goddesses. Um, some of the ascended masters, such as uh, Yogananda, Babaji, uh, so many. Do you sin? Do you sin? Sin, shame, difficulty. Uh, I don't lie. I don't cheat. I don't steal. <laughs> so I don't believe I sin. No. So you do not sin? I don't believe so. Are you married? No. You have kids? I have a son. And is he a psychic as well? He is very intuitive, but he's not into it. Oh, he's not into it? <laughs> no. How old is he? So he is uh, just now 20. Really? And what is his impression of you? He understands me, we found out, through video games. So he watches and plays some very intense spiritual video games. And he's like, oh my gosh, mom, what you said to me made sense. So it's just a different level of consciousness, and he kind of gets it. Is he still living with you? No, he lives with his father, and his father and I are very good friends. And so is his father a psychic? He is intuitive as well. Uh, their bloodline is druid. Were you ever married to the father? Yeah. And are you still married to him? Technically, yes. But we've been separated for like 15 years. <laughs> really? Why? Because it wasn't the idyllic situation that, it wasn't romantic. Do you know what I mean? No. Oh. <laughs> we became really good friends and that kind of, there was no more romance to be had. Meaning that you were not having sex? Correct. <laughs> really? And he didn't want to? Uh, nope, he sure didn't. <laughs> and did you want to? 
I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> and so you got r rid of him. I did. <laughs> We actually owned the occult shop, which was a bookstore in uh, our classic neighborhood over in Ohio, where I'm from. Right. And we basically raised a community together along with our son. Who, what does God look like? One of us. What if God was one of us? So um, when I see the highest high, the most high, I see light. And that's all that I see. No details. And is it a he or a she or a drag queen? <laughs> I think drag queen would be perfect. Um, but for me personally, the voice of God is masculine, but that's just for me personally. Yeah, it's a he. As you like. It's been confirmed. 